This chapter will focus on connecting to SharePoint Excel services. Note that it is assumed that you have access to the Excel files within SharePoint and you are familiar with the data structure of the spreadsheet. It is also important to note that similar steps can be taken to connect directly to Excel spreadsheets as well. The sample data that we'll be using in this tutorial is derived from our sample database called Synatica 2010. We create an Excel file that contains revenue by country stored in SharePoint. Let's start off by going to the Design Explorer and clicking on Data Connectors context menu. Next, click on the new Data Connector menu item to create a new data connector. Type in a meaningful name. Let's use 2.1.4 so it's easy to associate this tutorial with this data connector for future reference. Now we need to use a domain account to access the SharePoint server that contains the Excel spreadsheet. We do this by checking off the Connect As box and entering the relevant connection information here. Next, click on the Data Provider drop-down list to see the available providers. You can see that Dundas Dashboard provides popular data sources, but for this tutorial, we are interested in other data sources. We need to save the connection information before continuing. Click on the Add button, which will pop up the following setup dialog. Choose SharePoint Excel as the data source type. Give the data structure that will store the Excel spreadsheet information a meaningful name. In this case, we will call it Revenue by Country because it contains the revenue per month for a country. Now we need to specify the SharePoint site URL which specifies where the Excel spreadsheet is in. Now type in the full URL path of the Excel spreadsheet location on the SharePoint server. We need to specify the name of the sheet the data resides in. In our case, type in revenue. If the first row in the sheet specifies the header name, then check this box. Otherwise, just leave it. In our case, it does, so we will check it. To help in expediting the creation of this data structure, it is highly recommended that your spreadsheets do have the first row indicating the header. Now discover the spreadsheet structure by clicking on Discover Table Structure. Now we will have to iterate through each column and make sure that the column name and data type are defined properly, similar to what we're doing here. As a rule of thumb, choose decimal for integer values. For string values, set the length to 255 if you are not sure how many characters the string might be. This will cover most cases. Note that if there are any columns you don't want as part of the data structure, simply check off the skip button as shown here. For this tutorial, we want all the columns. Once you are finished, click the OK button to save and close the data structure. If you feel that you made a mistake, just click on the Edit button to modify the structure. If you feel you don't need it, go ahead and delete it. To add additional Excel spreadsheets via SharePoint Excel services, just click on the Add button again and repeat these steps. We're finished here, so click the Save button. Now this data connector is available for the creation of virtual tables. We will talk about the purpose of virtual tables in subsequent videos, so don't worry about it now. This concludes our tutorial on connecting to Excel spreadsheets stored in SharePoint using Excel services.